عصيتك ربي فأمهلتني وتسترني Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is clip number two, inshallah, for when we go for Hajj. There's a couple of things that we want to discuss in this clip, inshallah. Number one is um, arriving in um, Saudi Arabia. Once you arrive over there, you have to understand the fact that there's going to be a massive delay at the Jeddah airport because there's so many Hajjis that are going to be coming, there's going to be a massive delay. At the same time, you have to remember it's going to be hot. At the same time, you're going to be hungry. And what happens is many people at the airport, although they are in Ihram, they get worked up and they start becoming angry. That's the last thing you want. So if you have your mindset set that before you actually get there, you understand that there's going to be a massive delay, there's going to be a lot of heat and people are going to be hungry. The last thing you want to do is get angry, control your emotions and have sabr and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you. So that's number one, prepare yourself for the delay. Number two, keep yourself busy and engaged in saying labbaik, Allahumma labbaik. The moment you put your ihram on, you should be reciting um, talbiyah, which is labbaik, Allahumma labbaik. And understand the meaning. When you recite this, understand the meaning as well. What does it actually mean? It means, oh Allah, I am here. Ya Allah, I am here. I am at your service. Ya Allah, I am here and I am at your service. So remember this, in Ihram, this is what you need to be reciting and you will be reciting this all the way up to when the moment when you start your Tawaf. So number one, there's going to be a massive delay. Number two, keep yourself busy in uh, doing what? In reciting Talbiyah. The more you recite Talbiyah, the more spirituality you will feel in your Hajj. That's number two. And I noticed one thing that uh, the people that stay busy in the Ihram whilst they're doing um, the uh, Tasbih, the Talbiyah, or whatever they're reading, they're remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they're the least ones that get into fights and arguments. The last thing you want to do is loads and loads of dua. Many people say, what shall I ask for? You ask for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept you, accept your Hajj. You ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, you ask for your family members, you ask for your mother, you ask for your father, you ask for your children, you ask for your friends, you ask for the whole Ummah. So do, so do loads and loads of dua and remember the whole Ummah. So in this clip, we have discussed three things. Number one, accept the delay, prepare for the delay. Number two, keep yourself busy. Those people that stay busy in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will have no issues. And number three, lords and lords of dua. Jazakallah. <laughs>